in this illustrative video we will be demonstrating how to do ultrasound guided percutaneous nephrostomy placement the index case is a 30 year old female who presented to us with left sided flank pain for the past 15 days and it was also associated with history of intermittent episodes of high grade fever on clinical examination she had a palpable mass which is felt in the left hypochondrium region which was also tender to touch she was subsequently evaluated with an nccct kub and here in the images provided you can clearly see when compared to the right kidney the left kidney is being compressed all around by an hyperdense collection which is surrounding the entire left kidney you can also notice a radio dense calculus in the left kidney probably this hyperdense collection which is seen all around the kidney would be a hematoma which occurred spontaneously in this case in the subsequent nccct kub films you can also notice a large upper ureteric stone which is impacted and probably the obstruction secondary to this stone could have led to a fornicial rupture and then a subsequently bleeding into the subcapsular space leading to this hematoma formation the patient continued to be febrile in spite of starting high grade iv antibiotics and she also had raised total leukocyte count an initial plan of left sided double j stent placement was attempted but it actually failed because of the impacted ureteric stone hence the patient was subsequently planned for ultrasound guided percutaneous nephrostomy placement initially the patient was placed in a prone position for doing ultrasound assessment of the left kidney see you can observe that there is a large perinephric hematoma which is seen posterior to the left kidney you can see how much is the hematoma here and it is significantly larger in size and it is actually compressing the left kidney which is located deep to it even you can see the moderate hydronephrosis in the left kidney few echogenic shadows are there suggestive of calculi now see i am assessing the ureter there so ureter is generally found more medially and if you slowly drag the probe down you can even trace the ureters see that when tracing the ureter down you can clearly identify the echogenic shadow there in the upper ureter which is suggestive of stone it is casting a shadow also then coming to the lower pole of the kidney you can see those dilated calices there these are the calices which are selected for puncturing using ultrasound guiders you can see the calculus there after selecting the inferior calyx for puncture on the surface of the skin you select the same site where you want to enter by marking with a small cap so i am using a syringe cap and i'm just try slightly pressing it so that a small impression is created on the surface of the skin now local anesthesia is injected at the site of entry in view of a large perinephric hematoma in this case we have opted using a chiba needle of 18 gauge diameter because you have to go deep in through the hematoma to reach the calyx now you can see i am just assessing the length and now holding with a right hand with the thumb and then start entering into the skin a little bit and now take the probe and align the probe in that direction so that you can track the needle entry now you see on the surface of the uh, image you see the as pointed by this arrow the needle is slowly entering into the system now it is in the perinephric space in the hematoma now i am advancing it slowly still further until it reaches into the desired calyx so you can see there so it is actually reached into the calyx the tip of the needle is there now after this 
Now stabilize the needle, hold the needle and one of your assistant removes the stylet. You can see clear reflux of urine coming out through the needle. Now then pass a super stiff guide wire into the into the needle and you can see on ultrasound guidance you can even track the entry of the guide wire into the system. See how I was passing it and you can clearly see it there in the system. When once it has entered into the system using fluoroscopy you can reconfirm it. You can see those two stones there one stone in the kidney and one in the upper ureter. Now after the guide wire is in place remove the needle and then keeping the guide wire in place you start dilating the tract. So initially I have given a small stab incision. You can see some bleeding is there here because of the perinephric hematoma. And now uh, initially a 6 French dilator is passed which is a PTFE dilator. So under fluoroscopy guidance slowly push the dilator. Now you can see I am using the second dilator which is an 8 French dilator. And when once the dilatation is done you reconfirm again using an ultrasound and then a night French pigtail catheter would be slowly advanced. You can see here I am passing the 8 French pigtail catheter by rotating movement slowly start advancing the pigtail catheter. Here it is very important to keep the guide wire stable and then over it you just push the pigtail catheter inside the system. When once it coils in the system now remove the guide wire and a free flow of urine will show you that the pigtail is in place. I am connecting the connector to the pigtail and then you can clearly see the free flow of urine. So this is a PCN side dressing which we always do because you have to do the dressing in a way so that when the patient is lying in supine position the tube doesn't impinge on the skin otherwise it will cause pain. Hence always do the dressing in such a way so that the curve of the PCN is placed more laterally so and then a proper dressing is done. Otherwise this PCN sometimes might get dislodged so hence dressing is very important whenever you do this procedure. You need to educate the patient also how to keep this dressing in place and they have to care the site of the PCN. Thank you.